from Georgia, of Japan to Georgia in June 2017. Prior to his arrival to Georgia, Ambassador Wehara worked for 35 years in different positions at Tokyo Marine and Fire Insurance and Tokyo Marine and Nichido Fire Insurance, starting from manager of the general production department to executive officer and general manager in charge of Europe, Africa, and the Middle East region. Later, he became the managing executive officer of Tokyo Marine Holdings. From August 2015, he simultaneously worked as vice chairman of Nippon Export and Investment Insurance. Investment insurance. Today, Ambassador Ohara will be speaking about Japan's foreign policy. After his presentation, you will have the opportunity to ask him questions. Excellency, the floor is yours. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much for your kind interest, um, introduction. And, uh, you know, I'm very happy to be here again. Uh, last week I was here, and uh, some of you are listening to my uh, you know, small uh, presentation uh, regarding uh, uh, business of Japan. And it's easier for me to, to talk about the business because of the, I spent a lot of time are uh, in, in Japan for uh, doing the business and the private business, insurance business. It's very, very interesting. And, uh, but today, uh, I'm a bit, uh, bit nervous because uh, uh, I need to talk about the diplomacy rather than the business. But you know, I, um, as an uh, uh, introduction, uh, I became the ambassador here, and uh, uh, one and eight months was a very, very, I enjoyed it, the Georgia so very much. And I found that there's some similarities. Of course, you know, we have a different uh, uh, issues. Uh, however, I'm very, very comfortable in uh, uh, living in Georgia. And I made a lot of a travel. And with my wife last last summer, uh, I drove around in Georgia, and starting from the Braxi side and the Mestier and Ushiguri, and come back to the our uh, uh, Emirati regions, you know, and then come down to Sairume. Do you know that Sairume, of course? Yeah. And uh, I, but I didn't know that the Sairume is a dry area, so it is very difficult for us to order the Georgian wines there. It's uh, instead of the wines, you know, uh, water. It's a very general uh, 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 important for uh, in Sairume. So it's a little bit disappointed because that I expected to drink a lot of Georgian wines instead of water. <laughs> But it's, uh, it was uh, good for my health. And I uh, uh, visited the uh, Varzia and uh, drove around uh, in the uh, uh, Highland and back to Tbilisi. But it was a mem memorable uh, 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 days for, for both of us. And uh, again, at the, you know, thank you very much for inviting me and to, to this uh, wonderful uh, uh, pre universities. You know. So it is my great honor to talk about the diplomacy today. And uh, uh, I s want to start uh, my story is back to uh, 150 years. And uh, uh, of course, you know, Japanese uh, history is very long. However, that, you know, uh, maybe uh, it is uh, appropriate for me to start talking about the after samurai era. It was uh, 1868, and ex exactly that 150 uh, years ago, and uh, Japan opened up the country uh, to after 300 years isolationism, and during that the samurai and uh, samurai regime, uh, they closed the door to the foreigners for please you. Would you like to join me? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and I uh, uh, started uh, walking uh, in a very un unsteady way on its uh, democracy and in industrialization path. So I, I know that you can easily assume uh, these, these 150 years was not easy and uh, uh, stable. But I can say it's a very, very uh, thrown pass. And uh, uh, rushing into the strong nation, league, nation leagues in the middle of the imperialism, 
in 19th century and 20th century, Japan fought two wars, very important wars, against the war, uh, foreign neighbors. And the, at that time, it fought for the democracy internally. So uh, we fought with uh, uh, foreign neighbors, but at the same time, we fought for democracy internally. And uh, uh, the victories of the uh, Shino-Japan War in 1894 and the uh, Russo-Japan War in 1905 sounds triumph of a uh, tiny developing Japan at that time. But uh, it was also it was also the beginning of the uh, losing of the control of the country. And uh, Japan went to went on to the uh, road of war and World War II relentlessly devastated Japan. It was uh, 1945, and uh, a little bit more than seven years ago. And uh, Japan was the only country suffered atomic bombing in two cities, Hiroshima and three days later in Nagasaki. Hiroshima bomb uh, killed 140,000 people out of 350,000 residents in the city. That means you know, nearly 40% of the city was kill were killed uh, with one bombing. And in Nagasaki, the bomb killed 74,000 people out of 240,000 residents in the city. Uh, this history tells Japanese we should pass the tragedy as a commitment uh, to um, the commitment to peace down to the generations and urge the entire international community on the world free of atomic uh, nuclear weapons. So this is very important uh, diplomatic agenda for Japan. And the first half of the 20th century, I was, uh, was uh, really extremely uh, turbulent times of Japan. These times, I can say was a very, very twisted in terms of the mindset of ordinary people and politics of Japan. Uh, during this period, Japan experienced uh, both the euphoria from triumphal wars, early uh, end of the 19th century and early uh, 20th century, the euphoria from the triumphal wars and the overwhelm overwhelming disappear, dis, uh, despair after the war, both remnants of wars. And the contrary, the second half of the 20th century was uh, pretty good in shape for Japan, especially the Japanese economy. The economy of Japan grew very fast uh, during this, uh, the relatively stable political environment and a uh, growing world economy. It is because the peace after World War II, the multinational frameworks led by uh, United Nations and World Bank, IMF, had well worked under the Pax Americana. However, uh, we are seeing these frameworks are not fully functioning these days and require to be fixed. Uh, what do we need to do for a bright future for all of us? That is a key question when Japan's diplomacy, uh, when we need to talk about the Japanese diplomacy. So uh, I'm talking about, so I, I, I would like to introduce uh, some outlines. You know, so please go back to this, so. <laughs> this one. And the first one is I touched on the environment around Japan's 
and uh, followed by the six priorities of the Japanese uh, diplomacy. And uh, uh, this year is a pretty uh, busy uh, schedule of the coming years. You know. And the Japanese, uh, I finally, I would uh, like to touch on uh, Japan Georgia relationship. Thank you very much. So uh, this is uh, uh, this map shows uh, Georgia is here, and Japan is here, China is here, Kazakhstan is here, Mongolia is here, Saudi Arabia, India, and uh, in, in, in Indian Oceans, Pacific Oceans. So we have a lot of agenda when we talk of, uh, talking about this uh, map, but our Japan is very small. And uh, uh, Georgia is uh, smaller than Japan <laughs> in terms of uh, territory. So I'm very sad, you know, 20% of your territory is occupied by the, uh, uh, Russia. Uh, and also that, you know, we have, uh, I, I, I'll touch on this uh, later, but uh, we have uh, these, uh, uh, islands. Uh, Russian calls a Korea Islands, but we call them Northern Territory. And the Northern, four uh, uh, Northern Territories, uh, islands were occupied by, illegally occupied by Russia. So uh, I'll touch upon this one. And today's diplomacy with Japan is based on the principle of proactive contribution to peace. Uh, the key national, uh, national security is to create, uh, create, uh, to create a stable and a predictable international environment and prevent the emergence of threats. And the vision is clear. Japan's strategic intention is to, to proactively engage in international affairs. Uh, when I talk about this, the implication is that Japan has not done much before. And today, the Japan aims to make uh, ourselves a proactive security provider in a peaceful manner rather than a security consumer. But it is just in a peaceful manner. Because the Article 9 of a Japanese constitution proclaims the renunciation, that's a bandan, of war as a sovereign right. So uh, this Japan security policy extends to uh, economic policy. I will cover later. So six priorities we have. First one is I'm talking about the Japan-U.S. Uh, alliance. Um, rather than the U.S. alliance, uh, Japan's national security as a whole. And the neighboring countries and economic dip uh, diplomacy and the resolution of the global issues and uh, peace and stability of the Middle East, and free and open Indo-Pacific oceans, okay? So first one is uh, uh, Japan's national security. So no country uh, in the world right now, no country can secure its own peace and security only by itself. The policy of proactive contribution to peace clearly posed the principle that Japan's national security closely coordinates with other countries, especially with the United States. And uh, our Japan's U.S. security arrangement remains a core of Japan's security policy. And the security environment surrounding Japan is uh, getting more and more severe. It is uh, indispensable to strengthen the line between Japan and jo uh, U.S. to enhance the deterrence. The alliance is not only for the uh, peace and security of, uh, of, of Japan, but also it's uh, very important for the peace and 
stability of Asian Pacific regions. So please remember, you know, Southeast Asia, uh, uh, East a a Asian Sea, as uh, China Sea, is a uh, uh, U.S. Uh, Navy presence is uh, very big, and uh, there is a big our uh, uh, Navy uh, base in the Philippines, or uh, used to be. And uh, but you know, China is now uh, building a, a platform in this. So so that is a matter of that uh, I'm talking about, and also that. Uh, uh, it's not only the Japan and the U.S. Uh, uh, alliance. And uh, in this context, uh, Japan promotes the networking of allies and the partners through the framework of uh, cooperation with countries sharing the strategic interest. What is the strategic interest? Uh, such as the free and open Indo-Ocean, uh, in India, in the Pacific Ocean, and non-proliferation of the nuclear weapons, and recently, little autonomous weapon systems, etc., including the allies of um, India, Australia, o Australia, and the EU, as well as through the regional corporations. So I am talking about the uh, neighbor countries. So uh, Japan is uh, very close to these uh, four uh, uh, neighbors. And as always, it is not easy to live peacefully uh, with neighbors. However, it is true that we can enjoy the significant benefit from the neighbors, uh, not, on, not necessarily limited to the economic benefits, but also wider range of the benefit from culture, security, and people. And so, uh, first is uh, Russia. Russia. Please go to the next. Russia. And the uh, first one is uh, Russia. And uh, uh, with Russia, Japan has a long unsettled uh, territorial dispute of the Northern Territories I have uh, already uh, touched on, and which Russia calls the uh, Kuril Islands. The Northern Territories have been under illegal occupation by the Soviet Union and then Russia <laughs> since 1945. Japan's basic position is to resolve the in uh, territorial dispute through persistent peaceful negotiations in tandem with the economic corporations on those islands, four islands. And we never attempt to conclude a peace treaty with Russia before resolution of a territorial dispute. So China, next one is China. The stable relationship with China, and uh, uh, we have a long history uh, between uh, between China and Japan, and uh, Japan uh, imported a lot of things from China. Uh, I'm not talking about you know uh, raw materials or something like that. It's a culture. So uh, uh, culturally, that the Japan is uh, uh, largely old China, and uh, uh, you know a very important part of the Jam Japanese uh, culture came from uh, uh, China. And a stable relationship with China is crucially important for Japan in terms of uh, national security and economy. And uh, uh, we recently see, thanks to the both governments, uh, tremendous efforts that the relationship has been back on its feet. We will expand, strengthen, and deepen are not only the two countries' economic relationship, but also people to people's connectivity to, to cement the uh, mutual trust. Um, trust is the uh, uh, most important things in the diplomacy. And because the vital, interde uh, vital interdependency uh, between the two sides, it is essential to enhance 
the uh, mutual, uh, mutual trust through high level exchanges too. Meanwhile, Japan has kept firm stance that any unilateral attempts to change the status quo in the East China Sea can never be accepted. Japan will continue to take a calm and resolute uh, uh, approach to the situation. So uh, next one is uh, uh, North Korea, very sensitive. North Korea's uh, continued nuclear and missile development poses uh, grave threats, not only to Japan, but also to the international community. And North Korea uh, must immediately and fully comply with the relevant UN Security Council resolutions and abandon all nuclear and ballis ballistic missile programs in a complete, verifiable, and irreversible manner. Japan, Republic of Korea, and the US are in tandem, have confirmed to continue to work closely uh, together towards a complete denuclearization of Korean Peninsula. Japan has another problem with uh, uh, North Korea. It is the uh, abduction issues. Have you ever heard that uh, you know abduction issues are uh, Japan has uh, uh, with uh, with uh, North Korea? And the Japan Japanese government uh, already identified seventeen one seven seventeen Japanese citizens as abducted by North Korea during the seventies and eighties. In September 2002, North Korea admitted its abduction and apologized. But the most of them yet returned to Japan. This is a crucial concerns for the sovereignty of Japan and human security of Japanese citizens. Without resolution of the issues, there can be no normalization of relation between Japan and South Korea. And uh, uh, lastly, that uh, South Korea, Republic of Korea. Republic of Korea has been Japan's very important neighbor from the ancient times. And the cooperation with the South Korea is always high on the agenda of Japanese diplomacy in view of the stability of the Far East. Although uh, we have seen the difficult circumstances recently on the political level, very active, still, very active people-to-people uh, -people exchange con um, continues and um, grassroots cultural exchange remains robust. Japan will continue to make every effort to, to move the relationship forward in a future-oriented manner. If I may, I want to go further explaining the two countries' relationship in a bit more detail. Japan, uh, as I talk, talk, uh, uh, told you, Japan took the wrong course during seven, seven, uh, 30s and 40s to the road of war, World War II. We never forget, we never forget that the numerous innocent citizens suffered and fell victim during this war in many countries of Japan, uh, Asia. With a deep repentance for the war, Japan has repeatedly expressed the remorse and heartfelt apology for its actions during the war. With South Korea, we had issued our comfort women and requisitioned civilians. These issues were legally settled 
through the relevant agreements concluded in 1965, long time ago. Even though the case were legally settled, after conclusion of the agreement, Japan established an Asian Women's Fund, which carried out medical and welfare project, providing uh, atonement money to the former comfort of women. Then, Japanese uh, prime ministers, um, several prime ministers, have sent the letters to expressing the apology and the remorse directly to the former comfort of women. In 1995, after the great diplomatic efforts both sides, the two governments reached an agreement and confirmed that the issue of comfort of women is resolved finally and uh, irreversibly. Um, however, it, it is a, a, a big pity uh, that uh, South Korea recently shows that uh, uh, actions contradictory to the international agreements achieved on two sides, two states. But Japan, as I mentioned, will continue to uh, managing these uh, uh, issues appropriately in a, a future-oriented manner because our Republic of Korea is a very important Japan. And we can't uh, disregard or uh, neglect the relationship uh, between the two countries. Okay, so let's move to the uh, economic uh, policy uh, diplomacy. And first one is a free and open global economic systems. Japan achieved a remarkable economic growth under the rule-based and the multinational free trade system. As I mentioned, WTO, OECD, or something like that. And it is extremely important for, still, extremely important for Japan to, to uphold the system centered on WTO. Under the increasing pressure of protectionism in the world, Japan has actively been, been involved in the discussion of rulemaking of global economic systems in WTO, OECD, and others. At the same time, as an initiative to promote free trade and investment, Japan is working hard on broad network of free trade agreements, such as uh, Trans-Pacific Partnership, TPP-11 and Japan, EU, EPA, and so on. These agreements are the effort to establish 21st century's rule of trade and investment. Uh, in this connection, I'm very happy to see, uh, pleased to see that the main text of uh, bilateral investment agreement, still it's an investment agreement, not the FBA, and the Prime Minister Bakhtaze is uh, really want to pursue that the EPA or FPA uh, with Japan. So, so in the future, uh, uh, we will do that. Uh, but at this moment, the uh, uh, bilateral investment agreement uh, between the two countries has recently concluded the main text, and which is expected to promote investment activities between Japan and Georgia. And eventually, that uh, you are expecting more Japanese uh, investment uh, in the near future, I, I hope. And another is the support of the Japanese business is uh, very important for us. EPAs and FPAs help capture the vitality of a growing overseas market. For Japanese, Georgia is a growing uh, market. And they encourage the, uh, we would like to encourage the Japanese economy through reduction or elimination of the tariff on goods, or as well as the trade barriers for services. So uh, Georgia and Japan is uh, 
pretty much agreed with this. You know, so so uh, we are uh, we have uh, negotiated the bilateral investment agreement at that moment. And uh, as I told you uh, in my last presentation last week, um, Japanese business is relatively long-term oriented. And I'm sure that the Japanese business will create good local jobs, which contribute to the Georgian economy in terms of the sustainability. Uh, this is the reason why I try to encourage Japanese business for investing in Georgia in many ways. So next one is uh, global issues. We have some uh, many global issues that we need to tackle. But uh, I want to talk about uh, uh, four uh, issues. And Mr. Prime Minister Abe, Japanese Prime Minister Abe, uh, frequently refers his uh, diplomacy diplomatic policy as diplomacy with a panoramic uh, perspective of the world map. And I'm introducing a couple of uh, uh, four, four initiatives among his uh, many initiatives. Our first one is uh, uh, Japan's firm commitment to Please go to the next. Uh, next. So, yeah. Next one. Next one. Yeah. <laughs> this one. I, I'm talking about this one. Um, disarmament and a known. Uh, proliferation of nuclear weapons. Sorry about that. <laughs> we are confusing. <laughs> there is no preparations because of my uh, MTA. Sorry. And uh, as the only country ever suffered atomic bombing, uh, nuclear disarmament and non proliferation is a crucial diplomatic agenda of Japan. In order to realize Please imagine, in order to realize world free of nuclear weapons, it sounds really difficult. And Japan has committed to play the leading role in concrete and uh, practical measures for nuclear disarmament and non-proliferation by building a bridge, bridge between the countries with different positions. Japan has uh, committed to reconcile, narrow the gap between uh, uh, the different positions assumed by the nuclear power states and non-nuclear power states so that we can make a realistic step forward to, to nuclear free world. Uh, we have kept a stance in maintaining the strengthening the treaty on the non-proliferation nuclear weapons, NPT, and make every effort to, to urge the United uh, International Community to, to reach the goal of complete nuclear disarmament. It, take, it might take some time, but we want to take a very realistic approach to, to narrow the gap between uh, uh, different uh, stance countries. And uh, in this context, I'd like to touch on a very important one initiative. And Japan has called on the reform of a national UN Securities Security Council, reform of the uh, UN Security Council, because we do not think the current structure and format of the UN Security Council does reflect the changing needs and the reality of the today's uh, international community. It is a matter of regional representation. And uh, currently, uh, as far as I remember, uh, UN Security Council uh, discussing it was maybe a 60%, 60% 60 
of their uh, uh, discussion is belongs to uh, related to uh, application. But there is uh, no African representation in the uh, UN Security Council. So we believe that the reform is necessary to accommodate a complex global security environment today. And it won't be bound by stereotypes reflecting the security environment just after the World War II. It was uh, more than 70 years ago. And SDGs. The, you know that the SDG is a very, very uh, strong initiative. And the 2030 uh, the agenda for SDG is an international goal adopted by the UN summit in 2015. It consists of uh, 17 goals and 169 targets in order to eradicate poverty and realize a sustainable world. So when I do the business, the uh, diplomat diplomatic uh, uh, you know, tap, uh, issues, I always, you know, thinking uh, this uh, uh, business is uh, uh, related to uh, SDGs uh, target or, you know, uh, uh, goals. You know. And the pledge of no one is left behind through the implementation process is critically important. Today's world is very fragmented, and uh, our uh, inequality is uh, growing uh, farther. And uh, but you know that the uh, world economy is uh, very slowly uh, developed. So what we should do for everybody is not to, no one is uh, left behind. So uh, that is a very important initiative for uh, SDGs agreed at the UN level. Japan's commit to commitment to SDGs are underlines our effort in Georgia too. Our grassroots project, uh, it's a uh, say uh, small, small grants assistant. Uh, we do uh, say uh, several projects in Georgia every year. And uh, uh, every project is uh, uh, amount, uh, financing amount, grant amount is uh, limited up to uh, 100,000 US dollars. It's not a big, and however, this is very important because I'm very proud of these uh, activities. In Georgia, it applies to the project for sustainable agriculture, environment protection, and the poverty alleviation, and public health, education, social protection, and so on. So since 1998, more than 170 projects have been financed by uh, GGP, Japanese uh, GGP in Georgia. And totaling more than uh, finance amount is more than uh, 17 million US dollars. So uh, let me go to the uh, climate change, environmental issues. I'd like to highlight what innovation does and how much innovation counts in tackling climate change. Uh, because, and this is a very important because, uh, we need to, we need uh, disruptions to solve these issues. Disruptions, positive disruptions. And uh, to remind us of that, the internal, intergovernmental panel on climate change, uh, we call IPCC, in its uh, recent 1.5 degree report tells us that global net human caused emission of CO2 should reach net zero around 2050, meaning that any remaining emission would need to be balanced out 
by removing CO2 in the air. I have been encouraged by the green policy uh, led by the Georgian government. I think it is significant for Japan to, to support Georgia in this front. I must say that spend, spending money for green earth and blue ocean uh, in the past, it was, uh, it deems to, uh, costly. However, uh, it is uh, now a growth generator. Decarbonation and profit making can happen in tandem. So Japan had provided the support to Georgia in providing a social uh, solar panels in Tbilisi Airport in uh, 2016 and an air uh, quality monitoring system in 2013, and uh, water current meter and the quality test testers 2014, and the 96 hybrid and electric motor vehicles to Mia in nine, uh, last year. All of these uh, support are based on our green oriented diplomatic policy. Okay, so uh, next one is uh, Middle East. Uh, the Middle East countries are very, very important supplier of energy resources to Japan. And in other words, unrest and the destabilization of the region is relevant to Japan's uh, national security, as well as to the security of the international community. And uh, uh, Kono is a uh, foreign minister's name. And uh, we have uh, four principles. And uh, as Japan's being politically and ethnically and religiously uh, neutral and are, has never left a negative footprint in the history of these regions, the policy to, to peace and the stability of the Middle East is uh, one of our priorities in Japanese diplomacy. Japan continues to make every effort to in, uh, attempt to be a reliable partner of Middle East countries, focusing on focusing promotion of the fundamental values such as democracy, human rights, and the rule of law. Mm -hmm. And the next, uh, I would like to touch on uh, free and uh, open Indo-Pacific. Again, the free and open maritime order based on the rule of law and safety of sea lanes constitute the cornerstone for stability and the prosperity of the international community. Therefore, Japan is in cooperation with ASEAN countries, US, Australia, and uh, New Zealand takes uh, concrete actions ensuring freedom of navigation and rule of maritime law, enhancing connectivity through development of a good quality infrastructure with uh, international standard, and providing assistance in uh, necessary capacity building. The principle of this uh, 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 initiative is, I think, applicable to uh, the land bridge economic corridor of Georgia. Of course, you know that uh, East-West Highway is a Georgian asset, very important Georgian asset. And as uh, Georgia play a very important role uh, as a hub of uh, economic uh, co uh, corridor between the East and th uh, West. And however, this uh, economic corridor should be open and free to the uh, world. Otherwise, you know, very limited country can use this. So I, this is a very important uh, idea to think about, to, to develop uh, infrastructure. And uh, uh, next one is a little bit uh, touched on uh, uh, 2019, this year's diplomatic uh, calendars. And uh, 
Last, last month, uh, Prime Minister Bakhtaze visited Japan with uh, uh, Minister of uh, um, Minister uh, Koblia, uh and the Minister of Dr. Uh Because of uh, we had a business, big business forum and the wine exhibition, and now I, uh, under the uh, current uh, circumstances, wine and gourmet, 19, uh, 2019 in Tokyo, at, it was uh, holding in Tokyo. And so every, uh, many Georgian wine producers are now in Japan. And uh, uh, after, uh, you know, after that uh, kind of very uh, busy schedule in March, uh, we are expecting a, a 20 G20 summit, and the G20 summit to be held in Osaka. And uh, you know, global health and the climate change, quality in, in infrastructure issues, ocean plastic, uh, plastic waste. It's a really serious issues, and uh, uh, and digital economy. Those kind of those kind of agenda to be discussed. And the TCAT uh, seven. Uh, it is uh, TCAT means uh, Tokyo International conference uh, for uh, African development and the economic transformation issues in uh, Africa and the human securities issues in Africa to be discussed and uh, followed by the rugby world cup um, to promote people's uh, uh, people's people's exchange between Japan and other countries uh, through rugby games as well as uh, inbound tourism uh, we value this uh, uh, world events uh, as much, um, very much. And the Tokushima Prefecture, it's uh, one of the very uh, interesting mm -hmm. uh, prefecture, is providing the Georgian rugby team uh, with a training camp. And the ceremony in uh, enthronement, the His Majesty Emperor of Japan will abdicate on uh, April 30th this year, uh, this month. And the new emperor will take the throne on next day. Uh, actually, that uh, it's uh, seamless. And uh, May 1st. This is the first time as long as uh, 200 years uh, in the history of the Japan's constitutional government. The ceremony of enthronement will be, will be held on October 22nd inviting the heads of the state in the world. So, uh, Georgian president, I don't know that, uh, or our prime minister will uh, go to Japan. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, this slide doesn't uh, mention of this, you know, but next year, 2020, uh, you have a very important election here, but in Japan, uh, we have a Tokyo Olympics and the Paralympics. Mm -hmm. And the uh, um, Olympics game is uh, coming back to Tokyo after 56 years. Uh, when I was small, I clearly remember uh, the uh, last time, um, all Japanese people were in the state of euphoria uh, when Japan held the first Tokyo Olympics in 1964. I hope 2020 Tokyo Olympics and the Paralympic Games uh, will be a, another vital opportunity to s scale up the pre peace and the prosperity of Japan and to the rest of the world, of course, including Georgia. Again, that the Japan is uh, promoting people to people exchange um, using this uh, uh, kind of the big events you know, uh, by offering the host town to foreign athletes. And the town of Shika, uh, it's an uh, Ishikawa prefecture, and uh, Omuta in Kyushu, has have uh, volunteered to, to welcome Georgian wrestling team and the judo team respectively, res respectively. And also that uh, uh, another five years later, two, uh, 2025, uh, Osaka in Osaka we will have. Uh, uh, Osaka Expo. The theme of the Expo is a designing future uh, society for our lives.
and I'd like to invite Georgian Pavilion to promote Georgia as a showcase of democracy, inclusive, and uh, eco-friendly country at that time. Okay, so finally, that I'm going to talk about the um, uh, two countries' uh, relationship. Both countries have been very cooperative with each other since the uh, since the establishment of the diplomatic relations in 1992, and I'm very positive to to be develop and uh, deepen the ties between Japan and Georgia in the future. Uh, we we have wines, your wines are Georgian wines, yeah? and our wine is a sake. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Don't mess that. And uh, uh, we have wines and the dines. Georgian food is uh, fantastic. I really love Japanese but, uh, also. But you know that it's very dangerous to make me fat, you know, since it's uh, <laughs> very high calorie. And uh, the Japanese dish is uh, less calorie. So, so it's always I need to back and forth between Georgian taste and the Japanese taste. But anyway, the, the wines and the taste and the uh, mesmerizing natures, I really love your uh, country's uh, mesmerizing natures. And uh, our hospitalities. So uh, hosp your hospitality is uh, very, very uh, important for me, to me. Uh, every time when I join the Supla, <laughs> everybody recommend me that you know our bottom up uh, wine <laughs> uh, county, and uh, kill me every time. <laughs> but I challenge it again and again and again. But, uh, it is very difficult for me to survive. But you know, <laughs> Japanese hospitality is very different. So please imagine in the small tea ceremony room, a uh, tea master serve you only the cup of the coffee and small bites of the sweet. I, I, I'm not uh, asking you that uh, which one is you prefer, um, but you know, the, uh, it's very different. So uh, these are the super attractive similarities between Japan and Georgia. And, uh, but unfortunately, we both have not yet fully explore, explored them. So uh, high-level uh, exchange, I think it is very important. The recent two ways uh, high-level visit gained momentum for further development of the bilateral relations. Japanese <coughs> Foreign Minister Mr. Taro Kono uh, visited Georgia first time as a Japanese Foreign Minister in September last year. And Prime Minister Bakhtaze recently visited Japan. It seems to be the dawn of the new relationship between the two countries. And the Caucasus Initiative, um, the Foreign Minister Kono released Caucasus Initiative when he visited Georgia last September. The initiative aims to support self-development, self-development of Georgia. Uh, we have the two pillars. First is Japan's support to human resource development in your country. And everything, please understand, everything starts from people. It is a leader, sometimes it is a leader, who has an uh, aspiration to build nation for people. And it is a good ordinary citizens who have, who have ownership to make these countries better. So everything is start from the people. So we value the you know, uh, human uh, development, resource development. And the uh, second pillar is uh, Japan's support to Georgia's infrastructure. The infrastructure is not necessarily means uh, mm -hmm. rail and road. I believe Japan can contribute to Georgia by providing a high technology for green economy. 
And I would like to touch upon the Prime Minister's visit to Japan. And one month ago, uh, more precisely, that March 15th, uh, he visited Japan. And the uh, Georgian government organized a large-scale business forum in Tokyo. We had more than 150 participants and made quite robust networking between Georgian and Japanese companies, private companies. Maybe. This event was uh, very successful to raise awareness of the Georgian opportunities among Japanese business community. And the government also had a very made, uh, uh, made a, a strategic decision to, to hold a large scale wine exhibition in Tokyo that called Georgia, Homeland of Wine, uh, in an attempt to enhance Georgia brand among Japanese wine customers, consumers, and uh, any other consumers. So it is uh, going until May 7th, still is ongoing. And thanks to those events, and of course, you know, uh, Tochi no Shin, uh, Georgia is becoming a hot spot for Japanese customers and tourists. So I'm ex expecting a large, more uh, number of the, you know, uh, Japanese uh, uh, tourists is visiting, are uh, visiting uh, Georgia. Having said that, there is nothing more important than people to people's uh, relationship. Although the politics sometimes go in a very different way from uh, goodwill of the people, I totally value people in diplomacy. I'd like to endorse vital exchange of the people between the two countries, students, academia, and parliament, government, business, whatever areas, if they want. So next one is uh, culture. Uh, we are celebrating 10th anniversary of establishment of the Embassy of Japan in Georgia. We have worked hard to, to support Georgia by way of providing the uh, various grants technical assistance, capacity building, and introducing Japanese culture in the past. The culture is very, very strong, soft power. Both Japan and Georgia have long history and rich cultures. There is much significance from knowing and learning from other cultures. The interaction with uh, foreign different culture is very powerful to, to make our own country resilient to the area. I want to encourage young Japanese people to learn more about the diversity of Georgia. And for Georgian youngsters, the uh, best and the brightest like you, I would like to suggest you to learn lessons from both positive side and the negative side of the Japan. I'm very happy to see that the both countries have played and enjoyed the great uh, diplomatic and the people's relationship since the very beginning. I want to reiterate that two countries have enjoyed amicable relationship for the last 26 years. Then, after uh, nearly a half century have passed, I'm very happy to say that we are opening the new chapter of our diplomatic relationships, which seems to me very, very promising and more valuable for Japan and Georgia than before.
uh, since now uh, relations between Japan and China uh, improved after uh, China uh, United States trade war in uh, 20, uh, 2018. Uh, what do you think? What were the main reasons of this improvement between uh, these uh, two countries' relations? I, uh, you know, now uh, in between the United States and China is this uh, uh, very uh, uh, difficult uh, relationship, and we see. But you know that uh, uh, Japan's diplomatic agenda with China is our own uh, strategy and uh, diplomacy, uh, diplomatic agenda. So of course, you know, we need to uh, talk uh, very closely that you know, talk about that. Uh, or coordinate uh, such kind of the, uh, uh, diplomacy between Japan and the uh, United States to, to accommodate uh, you know, uh, the diplomacy, uh, new diplomacy, or new relationship between China and Japan. But you know that uh, in general, everybody wants to have a uh, um, more sta stabilized world. So, uh, you know, for everybody, including the United States. Uh, Japan's uh, uh, good relationship with China is a good news to them. I don't think you know that uh, uh, Mr. Trump is expecting to uh, throw it away from the, uh, <laughs> uh, throw it away the relationship between Japan and China and uh, uh, always uh, uh, come to the uh, uh, stand for the, the relationship with between uh, United States and Japan. What, as I told you, that you know, uh, we want to establish and we want to uh, in, invite the uh, stable um, and uh, uh, more uh, meaningful relationship and uh, stabilities in the uh, international uh, uh, members. So I, I believe, you know, good. Uh, better relationship between Japan and uh, China is uh, very much contribute to the international community. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Japanese women have been participants in a long history of social activism, and I would like to ask about their participation in uh, policy, especially in diplomacy. Can they take up leadership positions in diplomacy? Uh, sorry. Women. Uh, women. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's uh, still uh, Japanese is a developing country to, to <laughs> encourage the you know, uh, women's power. But uh, please imagine, uh, I, I, I remember that I talked about this story last time. But uh, Japan is uh, facing a uh, uh, shrinking uh, population. And uh, uh, it is a vital and very important agenda uh, to, to uh, welcome the senior guys and the women uh, back to the uh, labor market. And otherwise, you know, that we can't uh, uh, solve the uh, uh, issues uh, for the you know, shrinking population. And uh, on top of that, it's a um, more equal opportunity is uh, 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 should be urged, and uh, in the past, uh, Japan uh, was uh, really uh, man-oriented society, and still uh, uh, Japan is a kind of that. But um, in my case, you know, so in my families, you know. My wife, who is my daughter, is much, much stronger than me and, uh, you know, my son. And so uh, it's getting better in terms of the equality. <laughs> and uh, it, it might take some time, but the Japanese government is really uh, push the women to, to uh, back to the workplace. And uh, it is very important thing is uh, who is... Uh, uh, husband or you know the families take care of the you know small kids uh, not only for uh, with uh, uh, mothers and we need uh, uh, plenty of uh, nursing care systems and uh, our uh, kindergarten 
So, so uh, such kind of the platform should be uh, enhanced and improved as soon as possible. And the government is uh, clearly on that matter. And uh, every year we see a growing uh, uh, Japanese woman work at the working place. So uh, I'm very positive, but it, it might take some time. Um, I would like to ask you the question about Japan and Georgian relations again. Uh, I know that you said at the beginning that there are a lot of workers in wine in Japan, in the market of wine from Georgia. Uh, I want to think, as you saw on the map, Georgia and Japan are very far away from each other. Uh, what are future plans or what are being done right now at the moment to connect these two countries and maybe shorten the distance between the two, maybe in the Department of Education for the exchange of the students and uh, other working departments? Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, very interesting question. And uh, uh, distance between Georgia and Japan, uh, you know, it's a kind of a distance of, uh, you know, uh, how many kilometers are we far away? And uh, I don't think it's uh, far between Japan and Georgia. If we can operate a direct flight, maybe it takes uh, less than 10 hours, so it's very convenient. But uh, we need to promote uh, uh, more number of the visitors, uh, vice versa, and to, to, to make the, you know, commercial flight. Uh, sustainable, so it might take some time. But the uh, most important thing is the mindset and the understanding of uh, uh, the, uh, uh, each country. And uh, I want to focus on the Japanese people. Before to Tochinoshin won the uh, Emperor's Cup, very few people uh, know mm -hmm. uh, Joshia. And uh, uh, one of the reasons is uh, three years ago, uh, four years ago, uh, then uh, President uh, Magrav uh visited Japan and asked the Japanese government to, to change the name from Gurujia to Joshia. So uh, Japanese people start confusing. <laughs> Which country is Georgia? <laughs> we know that uh, Gurujia. Uh, so, so uh, in some sense, you, so such kind of the change of the name of the country uh, uh, impair the branding of Georgia. So, so since I came here, I very frequently talked to the prime minister. Uh, you need a proper branding of Georgia. It's time, um, because you know that uh, thanks to Tochinoshin, most of the Japanese people uh, uh, welcome the new Georgia as a wine country, and a very strong, uh, uh, small restaurant country, <laughs> and everything is very positive. So it's getting uh, you know, more uh, closer uh, between Georgia and Japan in terms of a mindset. But as far as I know, that the, you, you know the tea ceremony or something like that, but it's a surface of uh, the you know, uh, culture. So deep inside the culture is a very, very complex and uh, history is uh, uh, backed. And uh, so, but uh, to Japanese people, it's very interesting history. Uh, uh, Georgia is a very, very interesting uh, because of uh, very complex and very rich. And I hope, you know, Georgian people uh, love to know more about Japan uh, not only the you know surface of the culture, but also the, the deep inside of the society, and why that we can preserve the you know tradition, and why we can be uh, you know innovative, and how to harmonize this or something like that. So uh, we have a lot of things to do from the both sides. So that's the reason why uh, I'm very positive uh, because with everybody's. Uh, I I I I am I know that you know, it is very good for Japanese people to know Joshia, as I told you the reason. So uh, I'm very positive, and uh, my role is to encourage the tourists and businesses getting more interested in Joshia. Um.
regarding you, thank you very much for the presentation for the last week's presentation as well. Uh, first of all, regard, I wanted to ask about a uh, new era. Do you think uh, it will bring some maybe new goals or new aims for the report and our international relations sense? Or it will it stay most change? changed? Yeah. So uh, as you know, that the, when emperor change, uh, we change the uh, name of the era. And currently that we use uh, our uh, era is uh, in Japanese, you know, we call Heisei. Heisei is a uh, uh, very flat and uh, equal uh, kind of the, you know, society. And ne next one is Kam, and it's a name, a uh, new name of the era is uh, Yowa. Yowa is a beautiful hum that I think is, uh, you know, uh, very, very good names. And, uh, but we, we use, Japanese use the both, uh, you know, uh, Western style, uh, uh, for example, 2019. And, uh, but Japanese use uh, officially in the uh, government document. Officially use uh, 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 Japanese uh, names. Uh, era is a Ryowa from 1st May. And uh, uh, this name is a new name, is uh, pretty much welcome, good, uh, well welcomed by the uh, Japanese people. And it sounds great. And uh, it's uh, derived from the, the, you know, our uh, ancient uh, poet. And so so it is, uh, sounds really good. So I hope uh, most of the Japanese people are happy to use uh, this uh, new uh, era. But as a dim uh, diplomacy, Diplomacy is a, a you know uh, important thing. It is a, um, a consistency. So even though that the name of uh, the era is changing, uh, I cannot say that the diplomacy will change in some one day. So uh, we are continuing, and the uh, uh, relationship between Japan and Georgia is continuing. Thank you very Thank much. You. Our time is limited. Mm -hmm.